and so on. So this nice solution, while, while it would work, obviously it, this would work better than any other scheme, which would be lazier than that, but it has a lot of overheads. And in at least peer-to-peer -peer systems, we are, and this may be not so prominent in cloud, though I tried to put this power failure to put in the context of temporary failures. Um, what you typically have um, is that uh, nodes come online, like uh, I perhaps switch on my computer when I go to office, when I go out of my office, I go offline. And again, this kind of thing continues. So what you can break up is a session time. And you have a lot of such sessions. And eventually, maybe I get tired of the system and I leave the system for good. So you have a membership lifetime. All right? And so basically, these different sessions basically lead to temporary churn. So I'll come back, I'll come back with the data. You don't necessarily have to do anything immediately. While in case of permanent churn, I'm gone. I'll not bring back the data anymore. You definitely need to replenish it. Now, there are different combinations. And again, I mean, these are really related to the peer-to-peer -peer context. Uh, so the churn can be temporary and it can be independent. Uh, independent means you and I may go offline based on our individual lives, so they are not related typically. And it can be because nodes go online, offline, or maybe there is a temporary hardware outrage of a particular individual, while there can also be churn which is permanent and independent because the disk has really failed for good, it won't work anymore or I have decided not to participate in the network anymore and have left. Or it can be temporary and correlated, for example, because of network partitions or viruses or power outage in the whole region or so on. And it can be permanent and correlated, okay? Like um, perhaps a tsunami or an earthquake uh, destroys all the data stored in Indonesia, you know. You know. Um, or even a virus, perhaps totally it is this, all the computers which got affected by the virus and so on. So you have all these different flavors of churn. Now, the trouble is, how do you... One question, please. Yeah. Uh, how are you going to maintain the integrity of all the dependency aspects? Uh, the integrity of the content. Um, <laughs> thankfully, I have said that it's out of the scope of today's talk, but uh, basically what you can do is um, you, you can watermark it or you can use some kind of digital signature schemes to decide whether the content itself is what has been stored or not. Um, so in some of the schemes like personal backup system where only I want to access